Hi guys and welcome to Northern Ireland Taekwondo Guru Squad's latest iVlog. This iVlog is created to provide you with a base layer workout so you can build and develop your very own technical ability personal performance program, or TAP for short. Enjoy! POW! From here, from Chumbi, you get a nice space. Find roughly your chest height. From here, you're just going to do touch kicks. Remember, your leg must be perfectly straight and your toes pointed towards your forehead. Basically, a front rising kick. 10 times left leg, 10 times right leg. Then we're going to change to a side rising kick. Again, find your chest height, start low. Knee, then waist, then chest, then as high as you can go. Again, 10 times, each leg, each side. Now our legs are nicely warmed up, let's start some kicks. From here we're going to do double front kick. One, two, and down behind you. Up, one, two, down behind you. Don't forget to keep the back hand up. Ten times each leg. Now we're going to change the turning kicks. Remember, keep the heel high. The heel should be higher than the toes, even higher than the knee if you can. Remember to keep your back hand up nice and high. Turning kick one, turning kick two, double turning kicks and down, left leg and right leg. Okay, the last of our foundation kicks is side kick. So remember, get the knee up to nine o'clock, down to six o'clock, over to three o'clock, and kick out to six o'clock. Kick out to six o'clock and back down behind you. Nice. Now don't forget, we want to do left leg and right leg. Ten times. Double kicks. Ten times. Okay, okay, I get the hint. I agree. Let's see a real pro do it. Okay, Mrs. Parr, can you show us how it's done? Great. Knee to three, six, nine. Heel to the highest point. Nice. Pow! Okay, now we got to work on the line work. First of all, we got to get in the forearm guarding block. The chamber position is the back arm is completely straight. The front arm is going to have a full 90 degree angle. Hussein Bolt. Got it? From here, we swing into position. Forearm guarding block. Okay, now it's time to practice it. Get into forearm guarding block position in a good L stance. Remember, I'm a little teapot, short and stout, and I am. So remember, keep those hands well positioned. The elbow should be tucked in, the wrist opposite the shoulder line. Chamber, and down. Just say Hussein Bolt, chamber, and down. Hussein Bolt, chamber, and down. We see in both chamber and down. Just do it maybe four or five times each side. Okay, now we're gonna move the knife hand strike, Sun Cal Six times forward, six times back in your own time. Go for it. Okay guys, let's change it up. Middle inner forearm block. So from here, remember, we chamber from the outside for an inner forearm block. Inner forearm block. Chamber to the outside, middle inner forearm block. Six times forward, six times back. Okay, now back to classic walking stance. From here, we're gonna do a lower of the forearm block. Remember, twisting the bug. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Get that top coach. Twist on it, right up the rising block. Step forward, chamber, lower the forearm block. Twist on the bug, get the hips moving. Nice and sharp. Plenty of hip movement. Height, strength, power. So guys, when you complete that, don't forget, the last section is very important. Most important, the patterns. Start with Sajirugi number one. Then go to Chunji, if you know it. Then go to Dangon if you know it. Twice each. That's Sadriga number one, twice. Sadriga number two, twice. Chunji, twice. Dangon, twice. That whole little collage should be taking any more than about 20 minutes. Have fun, the tap crew. Okay, guys, that's it from the Taekwondo Guru squad for this one. Remember, if you really want to achieve something, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. So remember, just do it. Sometimes later, normally becomes never. Don't forget to thumb this video up below and hey, subscribe and you'll never miss another.